Welcome back to Living Out Loud. Special Cinco de Mayo edition. We're your hosts, Mallory and Scott. Today's an exciting day. I love Mexican food. I love tacos, so yeah, same deal. Uh, all of it's really good. Yep. Um, and we're gonna cook up some of our favorite things that we enjoy. So mm -hmm. as you can see here, we've got quite the bounty. Even got a little bit of uh, cerveza. Low drink. Okay, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> so. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and do some different things. We're gonna make some salsa, we're gonna marinate our steak, and then we're gonna go through our whole process. Everything from scratch. And we're gonna show you the whole thing, season included, just in case you wanna do it too. That's right. And we've got some of our favorite seasonings that we do use, um, and we'll kinda show you what we do. So we're gonna start out with some salsa, and then we'll come back, uh, and kinda walk through what we do, we'll take it from there. Are you yes, excited? Yes, we will. I am very excited. <laughs> Good. So now we're going to make some green tomatillo salsa, mm. or as a lot of people like to call it, salsa verde, which in recent years has become more of a favorite for me than it traditionally was red. But So what we're going to do here is we've got a medley of some ingredients. We've got the tomatillos. We've got limes, lemon, onion, cilantro, hot pepper, and of course, garlic. And this cute little thing that I don't know how to use, so this is going to be interesting. The reality is, we're just going to go ahead and make a nice uh, medley with these. You can put these in the oven um, and roast them if you'd like. I did not. I wanted a bit more of a tart salsa. And then we'll kind of throw in some other stuff. So you go ahead and man the chute. Is this it? Oh, yeah. You so, sure? Okay. <laughs> I told you how you to do that. You can do the larger one too. So, yep, the larger okay. shoot. All right, so <clears throat> now we can go ahead and start chopping up some of our vegetables. Okay, so let's get started uh, by putting some of the tomatoes in. Okay, low or high or pulse. Let's just pulse them up a little bit. Um, so start by tossing a few in there. Okay. We'll add a, just a about a tablespoon of oil. What's a few? Three or more? Throw as many as you want in for now. So I'd say five or six. I'll go six because my favorite go. number. Okay. So go ahead. I gotta put this in there? Sure. That way we don't have any stuff coming out and pulse it up. Okay, that's good. Add some more? Or? Let's go ahead and add a little bit of that. I'm gonna start cutting up some lime and lemon. So we can work them up. And keep going? Yeah. Just keep getting those in there and pulsing. Oh, we are not chefs, so this is just a homemade recipe. Don't criticize us too bad. You can see it looks good already. <clears throat> okay. Should I add more or that's enough for now? Uh, let's, that's enough for now. Um, okay. So with that said, let's cut some onion up. Half of onion, 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 onion. Onion, onion, onion. Only half. Yeah. Okay. So we can go I'm ahead. I'm going to cry. <laughs> no, just if you want to separate it, you can too, that helps, but the reality is it's all going to get blended together, right? Okay. I wish I had known that part prior to sticking it up there, so I'm just going to just... But if it gets stuck, that's the beauty. You can use that thing to mash it down there. <laughs> more pulsing? No, let's add some more. So we want to put oh. a couple of peppers in. Okay. I just, I just want to, I just, I have to chop it. I don't know why. It just, <laughs> it makes me feel better. And some lime. Mm -hmm. Do you want to try forking the lime? Not so much. <laughs> that helps get some of that out. And if you could scrape some of the pulp in there, it's always a nice adventure. Adventure? 
Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, oh God, see, this is why I didn't want to do it. Okay. <laughs> it just popped me in my face. Let's add a little cilantro. Okay. There's some more lime as we spray it all over. Yep. Okay, let's keep going. With a dealy? Pull some more? I like to use my hand to strain out lime, lemon, so you don't get the seeds in there. Oh. oh. Sorry. This is bad camera angle. <laughs> Okay, so we've got a good portion of uh, lime in there. Okay, hold on. So now we have one key ingredient we have to put in there. Garlic. Garlic. And then let's add a little bit of salt. So you can always salt more. So we're just going to start with a teaspoon. Do we need any more of this or no? Oh, there you oh. go. Hi. I make messes. I'm a boy. Why don't you take the uh, top off the thing and let's scrape some of that extra stuff in there. Okay. There you go. There you go. Look at that. Mm -hmm. I'll hold that. There you go. Mm -hmm. got some a ways to go still looks pretty chunky what do you think absolutely okay. should we add more of that yeah you can add another like a uh, couple drizzles <laughs> I was gonna say don't start giving me measurements because mm -mm. I'm just gonna there we go okay okay So we learned early on with this thing, if you don't have it all lined up, it won't work. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it's going to need some more salt, but for now, let's try tasting it. What do you think? Let's take a taste and see what we need. If we need more lime, we've got some lime on deck. We've got plenty of pepper. Uh, we used a good portion of cilantro. So here we go, first test. Here you go. Mm, I think it's got the right amount of everything. Yeah. I don't know that it needs anything. I'd like you to just try it. I think we nailed it. <laughs> nailed <laughs> it! And of course it's going to come together. You can taste just the garlic's mm -hmm. nice there. The uh, the salt seems to be point on. I don't want it any salt here right now, but you can taste the lime and the lemon, so it's good by me. I think we, uh, we, we got that. We did it! <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to go ahead and pour this out, and then we're going to make some red salsa. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We've got okay. some tomatoes. I ain't know that part. And we're going to go ahead and do that. All right, so red salsa. You got salsa verde, salsa rojo, salsa roja. Excuse me. Same principle. Start with the tomato, add in the rest of the ingredients that are very similar, season it, and we'll go from there. Pal, pal. Pal, pal. Let's do it. This one we're going to kick it up a notch with. Would you like to identify what we're throwing in there? So I don't even want to touch these. We have some habanero peppers. And the crazy thing of it is this is my idea. We were going to leave these out. I'm like, we should just, yeah, let's do that. I'm down for that. Mm -hmm. We can even throw one of these in there to add some different flavor if we'd like. But no, let's I just think, get started. I think that would be... Plenty of pepper. I think it'll be quite all right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so should I just start there with a little bit of yeah, you I'm dig? Put a little bit of you dig in there. Okay. And start buzzing around. Let's see what happens. All it's right. going to be a little bit more watery. So. Let's add the garlic in a little earlier. Okay, all of it? <laughs> yeah, put the rest of the garlic in there. I like garlic. I put garlic in everything. 
Let's add those hot Basically. peppers. Oh God. Everything but cereal, right? Who <laughs> don't put garlic in that cereal? <laughs> okay, let's get the rest of these tomatoes in there. Okay. Some early season tomatoes from the vine. What? That's what these are. Oh. So we're going to have a little bit of a lighter color to the salsa than a deep red, but we'll make it work. Onion. Go ahead and Half buzz an it. Okay, let's get the rest of it in there. Let's add some lime up next. Let's put some lime in. Go ahead and fork this lime. Let's get some more in there first. Are we putting the lime in the coconut? The coconut? <laughs> Hold on, we need a little more. I know Jesus. you're anxious to get rid of I'm ready now. <laughs> ready. Hold on, we need our lemon. Yeah. What? We knew this. He won't let me be great. I won't let you be great. He just won't let me be great. <laughs> I'm ready to get my pulse on. So then does the olive oil thicken it? Correct. It helps add a little bit more of a body to it versus just being watery from all the tomatoes. Okay, let's salt it. Now we need some salt. This time I didn't spray it all over the table. Yay! <laughs> Is that good? It looks good. Taste test time? Absolutely. Okay. There's a little salt on there. Ooh. I'm gonna wipe it on the towel. No, that's okay. Okay, there we go. I need to clean up. Mmm, looks good. Forgot there were habaneros in there. <laughs> did you learn that just now? <laughs> I did. Mm. <laughs> that is really good. I'm I think nervous. that was a good call by you on the peppers. I'm nervous. I wouldn't be Is at all. Is it hot? No. I I think you'll be pleasantly surprised, honestly. That's good. Right? Mm hmm So it's that simple. Um, just some basic ingredients and a little mess, and you've got yourself some good homemade salsa. <laughs> <laughs> so... Welcome back. We went ahead and prepped everything. We put our skirt steak in a bag because that's where we're gonna pour everything. We got our Corona to pour in there with it. And then we chopped up some lemon and lime and it's onions and peppers and my favorite, some cilantro. Um, I don't think there's a real like specific way they need to chop everything up. No. Because it's just a marinade. So however you choose to do that is on you. Right. You're just trying to you know, put the flavors into the yeah. meat at this point. So we're going to go ahead and add some seasoning to it. We've got some kosher salt. We'll fresh ground some black pepper and then add a little bit of this 
seasoning to it. So with that, we're gonna go ahead and get started pouring our beer and adding our uh, ingredients. And let me just say, we ain't even did nothing yet, but this smells so good. It does. <laughs> like, I think that's what makes me like tacos because you can do the smallest thing and it just smells so good. So should I just do this first? Yeah, let me uh, hope that open. This is gonna be a disaster. It's quite all right because you're not drinking it, so. Oh, see, yeah. Let's just start with a beer. Ooh. That's plenty. That's enough? Mm-hmm. Can I drink it? Yes, you may. I have one behind me, so. <laughs> now we're going to go ahead and add the lemon, the lime, the cilantro, and the onion, and the hot pepper. Okay. So we're going to squeeze it Which, what kind of pepper, if you were to ask? Uh, some long, thin, spicy pepper. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm not sure what the description was at the store. It did not give a name like jalapeno, but it looks like a Serrano. So we'll roll with that. So basically whatever it is that you like. If right. you like something super hot, then go super hot. We do have some habaneros that are in the fridge, which you could use if you wanted to turn it up. But for a marinade, I typically would go with more flavor than just heat. Mm -hmm. We can save that for the salsa. Oh God, you can do that. I'm gonna sure. do like this part because he don't like me very much. One of the things you can do in this instance, and we didn't bring one over here, is fork a lime. So you stick it in there and you kind of churn it. And I'll pull a little pulp and juice out. So, um, oh my, look what we found here. There's a fork. <laughs> so what I do is I put the fork in there and then you just kind of turn it. There we go. And that helps like get the juice out. And you can go ahead and just scrape off some of the and shoot mm -hmm. your co cook in the eye. Mm -mm. <laughs> go ahead and do that again. How do I have lime juice on my ankle? Uh, you can blame me. Can you hold that open? Thank you. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to participate. That's right. She's worried about her ankle. So I like getting some of the pulp in there. I think it lends a extra flavor, kind of like. Oh my God, it smells so good. Mm -hmm. It smells good already. So uh, let's, here, I'll hold it up and you can use the fork. Well, oh, there you I'm go. I'm gonna do these first. Yeah, get them hot peppers in there. It's one of our favorite channels would say, oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> here. And Toss that in there. Oh, come on, chillin'. Just come on. <laughs> All right. Okay. So now what we're gonna do is add a little bit of seasoning in there. So not much, but we'll go ahead and we'll put in like a couple shakes of sea salt, kosher salt, sorry. Then we're gonna put some black pepper. Are we gonna salt this some more at cooking time? At cooking time, we're not going to salt it until we serve it. Oh, okay. So, pardon all my... <laughs> you know, this stuff a little bit goes a long way, I'm assuming, because it does have more salt and sugar, but we want the flavors of this seasoning to get in. So we're gonna add roughly a teaspoon. Kind of teaspoon you use it. <laughs> Here, you do this part because I don't want to get messy. It's cold. Okay. I, I got you, right. B. So then we're just going to kind of churn all this up, get the flavors incorporated together. Obviously, we need to clean the table at this point, but you want to submerge and merge all. Submerge and merge. Both of them. Both of them. You want to get all those flavors incorporated together. Mmm, look at that. There we go. So, I don't want to look it. I want to smell it. You want to smell it? Yeah, I bet it smells fire. Oh, God. Definitely smells good. That seasoning, whatever's in there adds a nice little... Uh... Mm -hmm. So this is new to us. We're going to give it a whirl. El Ante... Antojito. Sure. Arachera carne de res seasoning so
Okay, so everything's prepped. We're all set. We have one final surprise here, and I'll let Mallory take it away. So, growing up, one of my very favorite things was Mexican street corn, which when I got older, I figured out was called elotes. So, in that honor of that tradition, I am going to make it how I used to eat it when I used to go and um, just go buy it on the street. She's Mexican gonna teach me. Corn. I'm not gonna teach it, but this Show is just what I do. So they take mayo. You can take as much or as little as you like. I like mayo, so. La di da. Put the corn all over the mayo. And put the mayo all over the corn. Put the corn in the mayo. Right. So here you can start that part. Thank you. And then they take parquet butter. I don't know why, but they do. And it's good too. And they just kind of squeeze it all over. Sometimes you can get it on the corn, on the cob. Yeah. Sometimes you can get it on the cob and then other times you can ask them if they can cut it off and then cut it into a cup. I would usually get it in the cup because I would be the person eating and walking. So I'll take that. Do that as much as you want to. This point, you add your Parmesan cheese. I like a lot, so I put a lot. Then I like paprika. And I really can't, I'm trying to figure out, does paprika really have a taste? Kinda, it's, maybe it's, a little. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it depends, right? So smoked paprika probably has more flavor than anything, but to me, paprika in general has like a slight pepper. Just a slight. Let's try it and see. Tastes like dust. Red dust. <laughs> no, it's a little bit, but this is Hungarian, so that mm -hmm. could be different. I don't know. I'm not a paprika expert. So then the last part is your hot element. Some people like to do um, like chili powder and cayenne pepper. I'm not a huge fan of chili powder, but I love me some cayenne pepper, so I make it hot. And that is how you do it. Now, if we only had forks to enjoy this, we would be on point. We will have forks. All right, so let's go through our tacos. We've got some nice um, flour tortillas, which mm -hmm. isn't our favorite, but it's what we were able to find. Obviously right now in the shutdown, things are a little bit different. So um, we've got our steak seasoned up. We've got some crumbled Mexican cheese, some cilantro and white onion. So we're going the traditional route and then topping it with a little cheese. And then of course we've got our salsa verde and salsa roja. And some tortilla chips. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. This red salsa is so good, it's ridiculous. Yeah, I had a few too many chips. <laughs> I had one too many chips. Take me a little bit of this oni, 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 oni. This is about to be so good. I wish y'all could smell it. Mm -hmm. And taste it, because it's very good. Not gonna say that I tasted the meat before this, but I tasted the meat before this. Alrighty, and with that, I think we should cheers to Cinco de Mayo and everybody who celebrates it. Cheers. Cheers. Salud. Salud, ching okay. ching. And we will see you next time. Take care. Yeah.